गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल कंडक्ट टेस्ट ऑन चार्पी इम्पैक्ट टेस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक एम एच आर डी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर इट्स इनिशिएटिव फॉर द वर्चुअल लैब्स एंड ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू थैंक नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कर्नाटका सूरत कल फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग एक्सेस टू स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल लैब the strength of material lab is prepared by nitk surat kal we'll see the test on charpi impact test in this this is the theory part of the impact test that is a charpi in the previous uh, class i conducted test on uh, isot the test for both isot and charpi are same the difference is that in charpi the maximum energy absorbed is 300 joules whereas in uh, isot it is 164 joules the for the material we are going to provide u notch for charpi test and for uh, isot we are going to provide v notch now we, i will uh, proceed with the simulator this is the charpi test the main objective of uh, charpi test is to find the impact uh, resistance of mild steel or the cast iron material in this you are going to find out the impact resistance or the energy absorbed by the specimen through the impact resistance we are going to find out the toughness of the material toughness is nothing but it is the ability of the material to absorb the energy during plastic deformation this is the setup which is used for uh, charpy impact test next you need to proceed for the next step you need to click the arrow mark now you can see this is the charpy impact test to conduct the charpy test first you need to find out the frictional loss in the whatever the testing kit you have to find out the uh, frictional loss first you need to place the pendulum to 140 degree in isot will be keeping this pendulum at 85 degree whereas in uh, charpy it will be 140 degree and without placing the specimen you need to find out the frictional loss in the specimen to find out that you need to release the pendulum with this lever i am going to release this and find out the loss of energy due to friction now i am going to release it now you can see that for the charpy the maximum energy will be 300 joules okay. this is the digital one otherwise in some of the experiments uh, which you have seen previously isot you need to set the pointer to 300 joules then you need to release the pendulum to find out the frictional loss in the working kit now the loss of energy due to friction is 1 joules now need to click on the arrow mark next these are the dimensions of the specimen this is the specimen and you can see that here we are going to provide u notch the length of the specimen is 55 mm width is 10 thickness is 10 the radius uh, of the notch is 1 mm the depth Uh, below the notch is 8 mm the distance of the center of the notch from the ends of the test piece it is 27.5 mm and the uh, angle between the plane of symmetry of the notch and longitudinal axis of the test specimen is 90 degree next you need to click these are the specifications of the specimen next you need to click on the arrow mark here you can select cast iron or mild steel i am going to select mild steel these are the dimensions of the selected specimen the length is 57 breadth is 9 depth is 9, uh, sorry 9.22 the depth is 9.42 and the depth of the notch is 5 mm all the dimensions are in mm next you need to click on the arrow mark this is the working setup and this you need to fix the specimen in the isot test 
you will be placing the specimen in a cantilever position whereas for chirpy test the specimen should be placed in a simply supported manner here you can see that this is a simply supported here you need to place the specimen you need to drag and you need to place the specimen in a simply supported in the previous uh, iso test if you see the facing of the specimen in this the v notch will be facing towards the striker from here the striker is going to strike the specimen in uh, charpy the u notch should be placed opposite to the striker that is the difference now i need to click on the arrow mark now you can see that i i need to release the pendulum the position of the pendulum the angle is 140 degree you need to operate the lever to release the pendulum or to release the hammer to strike to the specimen here you can see that the specimen is placed i am going to release the lever now the specimen has broken into two pieces and you can see the reading or the energy absorbed is 47.5 the total loss of the energy during the transit of hammer is 47.5 joules therefore the energy for failure of the specimen is et minus ef ef is the friction loss you have observed it as 1 47.5 joules minus uh, 1 it is 46.5 joules click on the arrow mark this is the loss of the energy this is what which you which is displayed on the screen 47.5 minus 1 you will get it as 46.5 that is the energy absorbed by the specimen click on the arrow mark this is the trial 1 similarly i will uh, use trial 2 at least 2 or 3 then you will get the average energy absorbed by the specimen this is the trial 2 this is the length breadth depth and the u notch previous two was 5 now it is 5.6 click on the arrow mark now you need to fix the specimen in simply supported manner drag the specimen after the click on the arrow next there is no need of finding the friction loss once again already you have calculated that next you need to release the pendulum through the lever and you need to observe in case if the specimen doesn't break during the impact test then if it doesn't break if the testing piece is not broken completely then the impact value obtained is indefinite if the specimen breaks into two pieces then it is having definite value if it doesn't breaks it will be having indefinite and when you write the report in the test report it should be stated it should be mentioned that the test specimen was not broken by striking energy of the testing machine now i am going to release the uh, pendulum through the lever i need to release the uh, striking hammer here it is going to break it into two pieces the energy is 43 joules which is displayed here this is the total energy during transit of hammer it is 43 minus frictional loss it is 42 joules click on the arrow mark this is the energy absorbed by the specimen this is trial number 2 similar to do one more try this is trial number 3 and this the length is 58.44 similar to breadth and depth the notch is 5.66 all the dimensions are in mm click on the arrow mark now once again you need to fix the specimen in simply supported manner and you need to keep in mind that always the u notch should be facing opposite to the striker now you need to release the hammer through the lever it is going to break the specimen into two pieces and you are going to observe the a uh, value here it is not uh, displayed actually it should display it as 43 some uh, technical error is there it will display as 43 joules total uh, loss of energy during the transit of hammer is 43 minus 1 frictional loss it is 42 
joules. Click on the arrow mark. This is the value. Friction loss is one forty-three minus one is forty-two. This is how all the three trials are conducted. After that, you need to take down the average value for the test specimen. Here, the specimen has uh, broken into two pieces. This is how you need to conduct the experiment. Like this, uh, different uh, material testing or strength of material, they have conducted the experiment and they have provided a platform for all the professors, students, UG, PG, as well as the research. They can uh, use this uh, uh, stimulation or they can use a remote uh, access. They will provide a remote access and you can conduct the experiment where you are. And by to do that, you need to book the slot for the particular uh, um, institutes like IITs and uh, NIT college are doing this uh, virtual lab initiative. We need to book the slot. Thank you for uh, watching.